Hello everybody, Sam from Florida, Guana Tortoise Breeders again. I have a new informational video out uh, uh, for new owners that have gotten an Aldabra for the first time, baby Aldabra hatchling uh, for the first time. Um, and uh, what this video is gonna do is gonna show you how to check your animal, how to check if he's, if he's healthy, if he's doing good, what do you look for, and, and what do you do about it when you, when you find it. So here we have, uh, this is a, a four inch tortoise. And let's say you've just received him. So uh, some of the things that we want to do is we want to check his eyes. And if you can see here, his eyes, they're, they're, they're full, they're nice, they're clear, and they come right out. They're not sunken in his head. And if you look right underneath the eye, there's a lip there. And you want to make sure that that eye is not leaning in towards the skull, creating that lip under there, which is because of dehydration. The next thing we're going to check is is there any discharge from his mouth or his nares? So we see here there isn't a discharge, but what I like to do is I actually like them to pull their head in. And I actually will turn them upside down because you get better mucus production there. And, and what we're actually looking for is if he does produce mucus from his nares or his mouth or if there's any, any foaming or anything like that. And it's kind of hard to see in there, I'm sure, the camera, but you get the idea. What I'm doing is I'm looking in there and seeing if there's any uh, production of mucus or anything like that. So uh, that's the that's the that's going over the head, the eyes, and of course they have ears. And this little guy here is he's not he's not going to come out here, so we can look at his ears. Typically, we don't see a problem with his ears, but the ears is a lymphatic membrane that's on the side of his head. It just looks like a like a like a covering of skin there. But what you want to do is you want to make sure that's sitting flat. And it's not bulged out. Uh, tortoises can get ear infections. Don't typically see that in a new Aldabra, but uh, a lot of uh, uh, animals that, that live in a climate where, uh, where either they hibernate or it gets cold in winter. In the springtime, which is a time coming up now, you can actually, um, it, you, you can find tortoises that have an ear infection because that ear is a little bulged out. The next thing we want to do is we want to look at the shell. We want to look to make sure there's uh, no injuries or abrasions or anything like that. Um, of course, what, what you're doing is you're, you're looking to see what type of tortoise that you have bought. This guy uh, is marked MS. What we do with all of our uh, Aldabra tortoises, we have a grading system, and that grading system puts those animals in a category, in a price category, that says that this animal uh, for this condition is worth this price. So this guy happens to be an MS, which is a multi skew and if you look here in the back, you can see the reason why he's called a multi scute because he has those different scutes that are, um, that, that are there. There are additional scutes, uh, which is an abnormal pattern. The other thing that we get a lot of questions about, animals this size, four inch aldabras that are this side, have a soft shell. Not really soft, but a soft shell when compared to other tortoises. Say, example, uh, a four inch uh, spur. So uh, what we see here, especially on the bottom, on the plastron, is there is some that that is somewhat soft there is some movement there so what we're doing is we're looking to make sure we don't have any abnormal movement I feel I can actually feel some moving here but I want to point this out to you so when you go through your health check you're not alarmed that you're you're finding the shell is somewhat soft and uh, you're you're aware of the condition it can be too soft and then that's a problem for concern uh, we don't ship any animals that are too soft they go through this whole uh, category system where we rate them and everything and, and we don't ship or sell animals that are in aren't in perfect health condition no matter what so something else that we continue with here I have my little cheat sheet because you know as I get older I uh, don't remember as well but um, uh, back to the, the grading system you know we grade them we have perfects we have uh, almost perfects we have double skew divided skew split skew, um, I also have multi skew, and I have a lot of videos on my YouTube channel that will show you each different type of category and how we rate them. So uh, you can go to the YouTube channel, check out those other videos um, to, to get it a, a definition or an explanation of, of exactly what type of um, shell pattern that you have. Okay, something else that we want to look for is the condition of the tortoise. So the condition of the tortoise, one is, is what you're looking for is how well, how, how well has he been fed or what kind of condition he is. And what we're looking at here, we're going to get a little closer, is we're looking here, 
just to see how much tissue, how much flesh is here. Look at those feet, how nice and round those feet are. Look at all of this, all of this tissue here. We can see all of this tissue here. And you know that this guy is nice and healthy, the, the tail, and these are the hips of the tortoise, um, have, have a lot of nice meat. And if you take a look at the forearms, you can really tell. Look how nice and round that forearm is. Just like in humans, when, when we have here, you have a nice round forearm, a lot of tissue there, a lot of good meat. And it's the same thing that's happening in these tortoises. So one of the first places we start to see them lose weight is in these legs, especially the front legs. And that, that won't be round anymore. That will start to flatten out. You'll start to see some of this, this tissue disappearing, some of this conditioning disappearing. That's an indication that the animal isn't, isn't doing well. You'll also see some of the eyes when they lose their hydration. The eyes will be starting to sink back in their head. So those are, those are some of the key factors that, that we're looking at in an initial inspection of the animal to determine his health. Uh, also, you want to make sure he doesn't have an overgrown beak, which you're obviously not going to find in a, a six-month Aldabra tortoise, but it's something that I thought we were, that I would mention if you're out there and you're, you're purchasing some animals. Okay, the next thing is, is we want to get an idea of how active is this guy. So I'm going to put him down, and we'll see that he, he moves around. And what I, want to, what I really want to point out is, look, look at the way he moves his back legs. Look at this, you see the way he's jumping around like that because he's stressed out. He's stressed out because he's uncomfortable, he doesn't like being here. And Aldabras have a way of getting stressed out and they'll move their front legs and their back legs crazy, flailing their, their legs uh, uh, along. And you'll think that there's something neurological with them, which is something that you know I'm looking at when I'm uh, uh, looking at an animal to see if it's sick. Sometimes you have some neurological signs. Sometimes you have some signs where the animal isn't moving or the animal is moving crazy like that. So it's something that we call neurological. This is not neurological. This is the way baby Aldabras stress. They, they flail their legs around and, and you can't really see the way they're walking. That's one of the jobs you want to do. You want to look at the way that they actually walk. And I'm going to extend the video a little bit. I'm going to take you uh, outside where I have a flat road that I can put him on so I can give you a better idea exactly what or exactly the way that he's walking. So let's see here, back to my little cheat sheet. Um, okay, some of the other things that, that people run into when they first get a tortoise, they're not active at all. And they're wondering what's, what's wrong with them, what's going on. Um, sometimes they hide, they're, they're, sometimes they're sitting in a hide box all of the time. Aldabra's a sensitive animal and they take time to get adjusted to their new environment. So if you have a shy tortoise or you have a tortoise that's spending a lot of time in the hide box or burying himself in your substrate, you've got to give them some time. You've got to make sure that they're doing okay. So you want to make sure that they're eating, you want to make sure they're drinking water. And what you should be doing to monitor that is checking the weight of these animals. This is a four inch animal and typically they weigh around 265 grams when they're four inch. Now we expect them to grow between a quarter and a half an inch a month. It's actually a, a very fast growth rate. And they put on somewhere between three and five grams a day, which means after you receive your four inch hatchling Aldabra tortoise, you're going to take the, uh, check the weight, check the weight in grams. And if 30 days go by, you should conservatively see something probably around 100 grams. That guy will probably weigh 365 grams in, in 30 days. So you're going to want to see him grow. He's going to grow about an, uh, a quarter of an inch in that time. He's going to go from four inches to four and a quarter. And you know he's doing well. Sometimes even if they're hiding, they'll come out and they'll eat, and you'll be able to monitor that by checking that gram scale. If you have an animal that, that just isn't um, falling in the program, is consistently hiding, isn't eating, well, that's something that you need to get in contact with me about, and you know, there's a lot of solutions for that. I'll try to make some more videos that might cover that subject, but for now, uh, give me a call and let me work with you on, on getting that animal um, uh, to, to a more comfortable spot. Okay, to really get an idea of the way this guy walks, we're not going to be able to, to put him on a table and, and just look at him for, for five seconds. We're going to put him down on the ground and we're going to watch the way he walks. You see the crazy way his back legs are going right there? He's actually dragging that foot, he's dragging that foot, he's not bending, he's not bending at the knees. And that's because he's just stressed out. Stressed out. He's just, you know, um, they're babies and they're their idea is to, is to get into protection. So he's looking for some protection. He's looking, and, and you see right now, he's coming down right now. 
And now, in just a short time, look at those back legs and how those back legs are like elephant legs. They're just straight underneath his shell. The legs aren't swinging to the left. The legs aren't swinging to the right. They're right underneath his shell. And now that he's calmed down a little bit, you see he's not, he's not flailing around. He's stopped. He's, he's looking around right now. Maybe you want to come to the side a little bit. See, he's got his head out. He's looking around. So, you know, we're feeling pretty good about this tortoise right now in, in, in references to what do we have here? Do we have a healthy tortoise? Or do we not have a healthy tortoise? And what's going on? We've, we've looked at his eyes. We've looked at his nose. Uh, we don't see any production. Uh, he's active. He's walking good. He's got a shell high up off the ground. He's not dragging the back of his shell. We've seen good tissue. We saw a lot of muscle, muscle there. So we know he's been in good health. The other things that we've got to check for is you got to check for stools. If you have um, stools that are too wet, it's a concern. You've got to figure out if you're feeding them too much fruit. They, it's not a tortoise that eats a lot of uh, fruit. Let me just grab this guy here before he ends up in the neighbor's yard. But look at the way he's walking there. It's really nice. Okay, so I want to continue the video, or at least end the video, when we're talking about stools. Stools are your guide to what's going on. Uh, the stool should be a nice, semi-moist pellet. It shouldn't be dry, shouldn't be hard, that's constipated. And these animals, especially Aldabras, do get constipated from time to time. And uh, there are certain things that you need to do to uh, correct that constipation. That's another video, or call me directly and I can help you out with that. I have a lot of experience with that. And that's going to fall under, you don't see any stools. So sometimes you see bad stools, sometimes you see good stools, and sometimes you don't see stools at all. If you don't see stools at all, a lot of times the animal will still be eating, but he won't be producing stool. And it could be because something's wrong with his diet, and you need to get that corrected. Uh, in giant tortoises, I've noticed, I, I have I'm not actually noticed it in smaller aldabras, Maybe some of the other folks uh, have had experience with it. But giant aldabra tortoises, when they're constipated, they'll limp on the right rear leg. And that has to do with the intestine, where it, where it, bends, where it curves down inside their body cavity and puts pressure on a nerve that runs back to that back right leg. That's the reason you'll see large aldabras, or galops, will limp on that right rear leg when they have some sort of a constipation. So let the stools be your guide. If their stools are normal and you're feeding too much fruit, you're getting a wet stool, it's because you're feeding too much wet food. Um, so the other things that you've got to consider, if the animal is older and you're getting uh, bad stools and you don't think you should be getting bad stools, you've got to have that stool checked. Get it checked for parasites, worms and protozoa. Those are the two major things that affect those animals and you want to make sure that those things are in check because over a long period of time, they'll really uh, take away from the conditioning of that animal. I hope you liked that video, folks. Uh, take care. Let me know if uh, there's anything new you're looking for, and I'll be happy to make that video. Take care, everybody.